Hello friends, in this video we will see how to enable client-side data annotation validation in MVC Razor. Now data annotation makes it easy to validate your model. Most of the time we implement the validation at server side, that is the form is posted to the server. And if the model is invalid, the response is sent back to the client and user is displayed with the error messages. The same feature can be achieved at the client side, that means the form will be validated at client side before it is posted to the server. If the form validation passes, the form is posted, otherwise the error messages is shown. In this video, we will see how to enable the client side validation. Now we have two points to remember while enabling the client side validation. The first point is we need to check whether the two keys are true in their web config. These two keys are client validation enabled and unobtrusive JavaScript enabled. By default, these keys are true in your config. The second point is to include the reference of three JavaScript files that is jQuery file, jQuery.validate.min.js and jQuery.validate.unobtrusive.min.js. So these are the two things to remember and which is necessary to enable client side validation. Now let's see through the application. I have a simple ASP.NET MVC3 application wherein I have implemented a simple validation at the server side so that the form is posted to server, model binding happens and the error message is shown if the data annotation or model state is invalid. So now for the validation, I have a model that is register view model class. I have declared five properties and I have decorated the first name property with required attribute so that if user doesn't supply the first name property, error message will be shown to the user on the view. So this model is referenced in required demo.cssTML view, which is the view has the form. Now here you can see the for the view model is referenced in the view. And I have also referenced the layout.cssTML file. I have used stml.begin form to render the form on the UI. I have used stml.editor for model and pass the name of my model so that this helper will generate the controls for my properties. I've also included two buttons that is submit button and reset button. And when the user clicks on the submit button, the form is posted to a action method which is present in my data annotation controller. And this action method is required demo, which has HTTP post attribute. And there's one more action method which renders the view. We accepted the parameter of model so that the model, model binding happens automatically and the model state is the result of the model binding. So when the model binding happens and model state is the result, we check whether the model state is valid or not. If it is valid, we are returning view. We are simply returning view, the same view. If the model state is not valid, we are returning view with the model, which has the error messages. So let's see till now how we can achieve this validation. So this is my view basically, and there are five controls for each property and there's a submit and reset button. So I'm going to submit the button without supplying any values. So when I click on submit, you can see the model having all the values as null. So the model binding has happened and you can see the model state is invalid. It is not valid. So what happens? We are returning view with the model having the errors. So you can see user will be shown error messages. That is first name is required. So this validation, we have to achieve it at client side so that the form will not be posted at server side to check the validation. So we need to implement the things to remember. So the first thing is to check whether the two keys have true value in the web config. So these two are the keys client validation enabled and unobtrusive JavaScript enabled. So you can see these two values are true. Now the second thing is to refer the JavaScript files. So as you can see, I have referenced layout file in my view. So I can include the JavaScript file reference in my layout itself. So you can see I have jQuery reference referenced in my layout. So I have to take care of the two other JS files. So those two JS files are one is the validate.min.js. So I'm including one reference of validate.min.js and validate.unobtrusive.min.js. So you can see I have included the reference of both these files. So now let me refresh my view.
and I click on submit button you can see the validation happened at the client side the debugger is, debugger is not hit at the server side so this is the validating model or the form at the client side so if I provide the num name for my form let's see I provide sysc and I click on the submit button so you can see the validation passes at the client side and then finally it is posted to the server side now if you can see the model state will be valid so this is how you can enable client side validation in MVC Razor I hope you like the video thank you friends